We have arrived at Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. I'm Reverend Karen Gray with Unity Center DC, and I'm delighted to be joined by my friends here, and I'm delighted to know that others are joining in later at their convenience to have a moment of connection, centering, thoughtfulness. I don't really have a label on what kind of meditation we're doing, so choose the one that works for you. Choose a comfortable posture. You might be standing up, sitting down, lying down. You might have your feet on the floor in front of you if you're sitting, or you might be sitting cross-legged. Whatever the posture is, I just ask that you be comfortable. And I also ask that you find a way to keep an open passage for air. And right away, you notice that you're breathing. And notice that you're supported by the breath. So let's take this time just to be conscious of the company of our breath. So simple and so powerful. Easy to forget or ignore and yet Absolutely foundational. There's this paradox in daily living that something that seems so important because it's grabbing our attention maybe won't be the most important thing that's going on. The most important thing going on might be that you breathe and it's not normally catching your attention. So let it do that now. And I want to ask that we consider ourselves before today before today's priorities came up for you, when they didn't even exist in your awareness. And going back, back, back. I was actually thinking back about the moment of your birth. Born, tiny, complete, powerful, pure. You know, we are still powerful and complete and pure. Except that our consciousness has taken in sometimes conflicting messages. But when we return to that pure consciousness, that pure self, in the moment of birth, it's really a return to normal. And that's a self that is fully embracing of self, not self-conscious. Holds no grudge. has no concept of that. Pure being. At the moment, can we see everything that has landed on us in the decades since our birth, see them as just kind of layers and layers around us, but our core self remains pure, powerful, complete, willing, vocal and expressive.
that pure, beautiful cell, child of God, an expression of spirit, an expression and individualization of all that is. That's perfection. Know this is who you are. Take some clean, cleansing breaths, nourishing breaths, supporting breaths. This very natural activity is so vitalizing, right? Literally. Anything else that seems like a priority is secondary to this thing that you do naturally and instinctively. You've got it. Let's do some breaths together. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Deep inhale, long exhale, a couple more. Deep inhale, long exhale, and as you do these inhales and especially the exhales, notice that those layers of excess that have piled onto you over the years. They kind of break away a little. Some of the urgency, concern, worry. It's not quite so attached to you, not quite so inevitable. Some things that are inevitable, more or less, that breath, the beating of your heart, and you've got those handled right now. You're doing a great job managing these priorities. With each breath, you have the capability of making yourself stronger than you were a moment before. Stronger, clearer, more ready, And now, before we come out of the meditation, I invite you, if you'd like, to relax your neck a little more by moving your head, you know, like move your forehead around in gentle circles. Going in one direction for a while, and then in the other direction for a while. And notice the aliveness in your neck your spine, notice the aliveness there that you feel, that you have awakened with this simple movement. And returning to the breath, maybe returning to stillness if you're ready. Know how much this aliveness and this stillness are interconnected and always available to you. You notice they are immediately there for you, never, never, never separated from you.
Now, if you want to, you can do a little bit of a shake of your arms and hands, and you can even be intentional about shaking off anything that you don't actually need, anything that's been clinging to you lately, but you actually don't need it and you're ready to be done with it, that's fine. You can do that. When you're ready, you can transition to holding your hands upward, receptive, open, to receive the gifts of the universe, to give you whatever it is that you might need, whatever might support you and serve you. Just choose. There's gotta be some intentionality, some choosing going on to really get us where we're trying to go. Name it in your head, name it what it is that you're choosing. Maybe you're asking for it's not too much. So just claim it. You know, you are one with the one power and the one presence. So when you claim something, all you're really doing is just kind of turning the flashlight of your intention toward the object of your desire or the experience of your desire or the power of your desire. There's just turning your intention, that powerful intention towards something that absolutely is present for you, something that absolutely exists as part of the one presence, part of the one power, part of you, ready to be part of your experience. Find yourself comfortable, very comfortable. Give yourself, you know, um, kind of like a, a symbolic, like a pat on the back of gratitude and appreciation for giving yourself a moment of self-care today. With all the many things that call on your attention, thank you for taking time to take care of yourself. You're an important presence and you're able to be your full, terrific presence by taking care of yourself. And that's absolutely essential, so thank you. You're well-loved, you're important, you're valued. And you have made yourself stronger, clearer, and more ready now than you were a few minutes ago. And I'm gonna seal that with a kiss. And, um, if you do it the way I do it, you kind of like, even with your eyes closed, turn your eye gaze downward and then gently open your eyes, gently lift your eyelids. And prepare to take in the scenery of the space you inhabit, including the faces of dear ones on the screen in front of you, or just me, if that's all you see. <laughs> And thank you for joining me in this meditation.